Hey! It's your friend Steve. Hello, welcome back. You're like, oh, wait a minute. Did he stop doing it? Nope. I'm here. Uh, it's a little late. Um, my bad. Uh, usually I record them on uh, Thursdays or Fridays, but, um, you know, had a little incident. Uh, your boy uh, fell asleep. You know, when you're six eight, I don't think people realize this. And I'm getting older, and I realize this myself, but uh, I'm, like, I can't fall asleep any place anymore. I used to be able to, like, fall asleep on the floor, fall asleep in, like, a chair, fall asleep uh, in a bathtub. I've done that before. Now, like, I have to be sprawled out on a very nice bed in a perfect position or I wake up and my neck hurts, or uh, my uh, hip hurts, or my back hurts, which is this what happened. Um, I passed out in a very, very small couch um, at a, like a house party, like, and I was like, oh, okay. And I woke up and um, there was like people like hula hooping, like randomly, like it was just like this. A random house party, and I was like, what is going on, why am I, like, people are just hula hooping, like, just, like, uh, like, right above me, and I'm like, hmm, am I on drugs, what is happening, am I still dreaming, nope, just people at, like, five in the morning, just hula hooping, they probably were on drugs, 100%, no one, no one hula hoops unless you're, uh, six years old or on drugs, facts, Hippie chicks, though, stay away from them. They're crazy. Um, you know, the envir- they love the environment, but also love to take their crazy pills. So, yeah, so now I've been... Well, actually, it was probably like... Well, it was early Friday morning, but Thursday-ish. So, now I'm, like, walking around like Frankenstein. But I uh, had a good day yesterday. You know, I, uh, me and my friend went out, had some lunch. Love friend dates, by the way. Friend dates are the best dates. Um, you know, just go ahead and have some hot tacos. I mean, tacos are always a good way to, uh, boost your morale. Um, Mexican food is the best. Uh, same ingredients, has about three ingredients, you know, meat, cheese, and, uh, pretty much it. That's it, everything. What's the third one? Hmm. Third one's a mystery, actually, because the third one's, like, fajitas have, like, peppers and stuff, but it's pretty much just meat and cheese on all of them. Because me, I love me some shrimp tacos. Oh my god, shrimp tacos. With a little spice to it and like guacamole. Mm, dying. Love food. I mean, you don't get to my size unless you love food. So, um, but yeah, the Mexican food is always good. Have me a little margarita. Because, you know, that's the only way to battle drinking. Is to drink more. You either drink more, or you suffer the consequences of your decisions and to be fair I don't want to do that so today I'm fine today is a glorious day except for the back um definitely pulled a muscle I don't want to go to a doctor not a big doctor fan I don't tr- I not that I don't trust doctors but they're literally banking on me being sick like if I'm sick they're making money and that, I, and I mean, ooh, I want to help people. Sure, you want to help people, but, you know, the more sick I am, the more you get paid. So it's just, like, a relationship that I don't particularly like. And then, plus, like, doctors get mad when you go in there, because I had a checkup once, and, you know, like, you know, I'm a little overweight. I'm definitely overweight, but I'm relatively healthy for being a fat person. Um, And I went to the doctor... And he did blood work, and he's probably like, oh, well, this guy's going to be, you know, blood pressure, it's going to be something, I could yell at him, and he's just like, hmm, hmm, I'm like, oh, God, do I have cancer or something? Why are you, why are you so upset? Oh, no, you're fine. Hmm, just weird, just weird. I was like, why? He's like, oh, I'm assuming, and I was like, dude, you, are you prejudging me that I'm going to be a fat piece of shit? Like, what is going on? I don't, that's what I don't. Plus, he was so insulting. He was just, like, so condescending and shit. And then, uh, yeah, I just don't have a good experience. Because, like, seven, eight years ago, I got, like, really sick. Like, probably the sickest I've ever been. Uh, I was, like, throwing up. 
it coming out both ends, not to be too graphic. Sorry, YouTube. Um, but yeah, like in bed, lost like eight pounds in like three days, like just nothing. My body was like, dude, Gatorade, hmm, that'll probably look cool coming up, throwing up, like drinking red Gatorade and throwing up is super scary. Cause you're like, am I throwing up blood? Ugh. And then your whole fucking toilet's filled with blood and you're like, ugh. But yeah, the sickest I've ever been. And I went to the doctor and he's just like, hmm. Well, you don't have this. It's not the flu. Hmm. Um, it was it was around like when that bird pandemic was going on, where like bird flu or what was it? Not swine flu, but yeah, like the the bird flu. He's like, well, you've been to China, and I was like, no, nope, haven't traveled. Hmm. You've been around a lot of birds. I'm like, no, not I don't particularly trust birds. Birds aren't real. So. And then he's like, oh, well, mm, I can't really figure out what's wrong with you. And I'm like, well, you know, um, you're a doctor. You've uh, done tests. He's like, what do you think's wrong? I'm like, I have never been to medical school. How do I know what's wrong? Which is weird. Now, I'm literally a doctor. I, I literally Google my symptoms, and then I'm like, oh, God, it's cancer. Oh, God, it's cancer. Oh, it hurts on my side. Oh, it hurts on my side. I'm like, ooh, I, I do wake up a little nauseous sometimes. Ooh, it's cancer. Oh, that's the, cancer's the worst. I mean, ooh, that is just a not cool thing. I mean, cancer is just taking some great people from us. How do you create cancer? It's like, like, like we're all like, oh, God has a plan and all this and all that. But like, God, God does like weird things. It's just like. Why does, sure, like, you know, struggle is cool, but then you you don't need, like, a six-year-old to have cancer to be, like, what, what's the point of that? Let us, let children be healthy, and then, you know, people get cancer later on in life. You know, when they had a long, healthy life, at the end, sure, throw a little cancer in there, fine. I mean, I get it. You get your little jollies from giving people cancer, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to say that, because now I'm going to have cancer. I, I, well, I played myself. I did. I talk shit about God, and God got mad and smited me. He smites a lot of people, by the way. All the, like, rules, though, it's like, uh, you know, don't murder people. I get it. I get that. Um, you know, don't, uh, you know, what's the other one? Don't, don't lie. I mean, everyone lies. We lie every day. I, I mean, it's hard to not lie to people. Because lying, sometimes lying is the best way. Like, oh, do I look fat in these jeans? What are you going to do? Start an argument? No, 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 no. You look great, baby girl. You're good. That's a lie. That's I'm going to hell because I didn't want to tell that girl that she had a fat ass. Which I enjoy. I mean, nowadays fat asses are great. I mean, but back in the day when you were like, oh, is my ass too big? Like, no, 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 no. Girls are like, I'm a dump truck. I don't also, that, yeah, I don't get that. Girl on Tinder, oh, I'm a dump truck. I get, uh, what? A dump truck. That's how you describe your body. I get, like, I'm an apple, I'm a pear, you know, fruit, fruit things. I'm a potato, but that's just me. But you describe yourself as a dump truck. I don't know. I don't want to look at a girl and be like, hmm, she probably looks like she can, well, first, actually, you're implying that your body's filled with trash, dirty, stinky trash, and you're on your way to dump it. That is what a dump truck is, built like a dump truck. Then I don't have sex with a transformer, because are you a dump truck or are you a person? Are you a person that turns into a dump truck? Or, yeah, again, not having sex with a car. No matter how hot the car is, I'm not putting my dick in it. Not doing it, because where do you put your dick in a car? The tailpipe? The gas, the gas thing, then you're like, oh yeah, baby, I'm about to fill you up. <laughs> but then the tailpipe is the car. Car has to be on, right? It's turned on. Tailpipe's hot. Burn your dick. Or you have like, cause the front of the car, so the back, the the trunk is the back, right? And the front is yeah. So the front, you have to put the car upside down. Then how am I going to get this car upside down to have sex with it? It just doesn't logically make sense. None, actually, technically, 
I'm thank you for listening to this because technically none of this makes sense. And at at some point, YouTube is going to contact me. Hey, it's over. You had a good run. So, no sex with cars. I don't want to have sex with a dump truck. Another weird date I had once. I, I don't. This is episode's gonna make no sense. I'm on. Took a pain pill, so I don't know. Am I? Am I incoherent? Maybe. If I'm not, thank you for listening. That like and subscribe on YouTube, and that's how you uh, listen to us. So I had a Tinder date one time, and um, I will describe you to the. I will describe you this because um, date is the best word I can. I could say, but um, I wouldn't say it's a date. Because, okay, so I'm talking to this girl, and she hits me up, and she goes, uh, what are you doing? And she goes, uh, oh, I'm, uh, chilling. I'm like, I'm chilling right now. I was off of work. It's like a Tuesday, random Tuesday I was off. And, um, she goes, oh, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna probably, like, eat some breakfast or something and, uh, watch some cartoons or, you know, watch TV. I don't know why I said cartoons. Though I, I do like Rick and Morty. But that's that's about it. So she goes, oh, well, I'll come over and hang out. I was like, well, it's like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. I was like, well, give me like 45 minutes to take a shower. I guess. I don't really know why we're doing this, but okay. And she goes, okay, I'll be there. Give me your address. Give her my address. First date. First time meeting. Uh, this seems very suspect to me. I don't think anybody should go to anybody's house on the first date unless you're hooking up. And I'm not a big hookup person, but anyway, so she's coming, and, uh, I'm like, okay, she gets here, I'm like, okay, watch some watching TV, so I put on Rick and Morty, pre, pre-mentioned Rick and Morty, doesn't laugh once, like, doesn't, I'm like, looking at her, like, first she sits, like, I go for a hug, and she just, like, shakes my hand, I'm like, okay, cool, I get it, I'm a stranger, you're in my house, but stranger still, Sits on the whole opposite side of my couch, not even near me. I'm like, okay, okay, well, she's like, just like, you know, a little nervous, whatever. I understand. I'm a stranger. Again, once again, stranger to her. And uh, so we're watching it. Doesn't laugh once. And I'm like, well, we can watch something else. Like, what do you like to watch? Oh, I don't really watch too much TV. I'm like, okay. That's cool. I mean, I get it. I mean, TV, I love TV, but I mean, some people aren't TV. Oh, I'm like, oh, you watch a movie? We could watch a movie. Oh, I don't really watch movies. I'm like, oh, okay. We're cool with this. We're cool with this. Um, So I was like, what do you like? And she goes, oh, I like K-pop. I was like, hmm, K-pop, like Korean pop? And she's like, yeah, 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 love it. So I'm like, hmm, you just listen to K-pop every day, all day, until you go to work or sleep? Um, okay, she's like, well, and I was like, well, here's my phone, we could listen to it on YouTube or Pandora or whatever, <clears throat> um, not my cup of tea, it's, I can get why people are into it, it's got a nice little beat to it, I mean, so I'm like, okay, whatever, this is, I'm jamming to it, I'm like, whatever, and, uh, I go, oh, I have to let my dogs out, I was like, she's like, oh, okay, and so I let my dogs out, and, uh, I was like, the old one, let him go out, he could chill outside, whatever. My 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 younger one, I'm like, he's very friendly, super friendly, lovey dog. And uh, I go, he, if you want to pet him, he's very friendly. And I will describe to you what it is, because you can't see what I'm doing. But you know, you ever like push someone out of your face and you like face palm them and then like, or like what like a blind person does, like you're, you're uh, you know, just like feeling their face. It was the weirdest pet I've ever seen. And she just, like, puts her hand on his face and just, like, smushed it a little bit. And I'm like, my dog, Ollie's just looking at me like, bro, what the hell is this bitch's problem? Wait, what? What? And I'm like, well, you can just pet his belly or pet his back. He loves his back being rubbed. Oh, okay. And then she just, like, kept, like, going to his face and, like, smushing it. I'm like, I was like, oh, so you don't have, like, pets at all, do you? She goes... Oh, I have a pet rat. I'm like, a pet rat? Ugh. I'm like, rats are gross. I'm sorry. If you have a pet rat, good for you. Everyone needs to be loved. I mean, rats probably would love to be in trash, not around humans. But, I mean, you love a pet rat. I mean, it's disease-ridden, I guess. It's gross. Rats are gross. 
And she goes, oh, yeah, I have a pet rat. I have, like, three pet rats. One just died. I was like, oh, that's sad. But, but okay. And she's like, yeah. Um, so, um, and then, like, she got a phone call. She was there. She's been there for, like, an hour. I was like, okay, this is, like, I'm kind of, like, I want to go back to bed. To be honest, I do not want you to be here because I do not know what this is. It is not a date. It is not a hang session. We have nothing in common. I don't know why you even came over. So she gets a phone call and she goes, okay, yeah, uh uh-huh, yeah, uh uh-huh. I, okay, there you go, uh uh-huh, uh-huh. And I'm like, oh, everything okay? She's like, my nephew's sick. I have to go. And I was like, oh, well, I hope he feels better. She goes, yeah, he will. Don't worry. And I'm like, okay, cool. Well, it was nice meeting you. Go for like a nice little goodbye hug. Again, handshake. Okay, at this point, sure. Goodbye. So she's leaving. She's backing out of my driveway. I was like waving goodbye. She rolls her window down, goes, What's my name? I'm like, What? She's like, What's my name? And I'm like, Oh, well, when I said her name, I was like, Janice, that not her real name. And I like, Question mark, Janice? And then she just goes, yeah, that's what I thought. Rolls her window up. Never talk to her again. Do not know what that was. Do not understand. People are going to be like, well, that's not real. 100% real. That girl was a weirdo. She probably is a serial killer. I, I probably dodged a bullet. Because that was the weirdest experience I've ever... Well, no, not the weirdest. I've had way weirder. But maybe not be able to talk about it on the podcast. Because I don't want to be sued. That girl, mystery. I do not know her deal. And never talked to her again. She, I was like, the first time in my life where a ghost was fine with me. Ghosting, I mean, just tell a dude, just tell a girl or a guy, not into it. Ghosting's just like the brutest thing to do. Just be like, yo, not feeling the vibes. Okay. Blocked. We're good. I'll move on with my life. It's the uh, super into me and then not talk to me ever again not talk to me ever again, which is like, hmm, okay, whatever, I mean, no one, you're not going to be everyone's cup of tea, I mean, we all look what we look like, we all have personalities, sometimes you just don't vibe, like, sometimes girls like, pep, you know, uh, pineapple on their pizza, and you're like, ugh, gross, you make bad decisions, I get it, move along, I get it, I'm not the best in the world, I'm not perfect, I get it. I have weird shit about me, too. You know, that's the only thing. Dating's like a job interview. You want the job. You want to go in there, be your best self, get the job. The job is, you know, a lifetime of uh, semi-misery. I mean, sometimes marriage is good. But most of the time, most of my married friends are kind of miserable. Some Sometimes you're like, whoa. Because it's always going to be... She brings this to the table, and you're like, oh, what is what is he seeing her, or what does she see in him? Like, it's very rare that you find two people that bring both, both equal stuff to the table. Because most of your friends, you're like, okay, if you guys break up, I'm team Chris, or I'm team Janet. Wrong names. Pick something else. Team Liz. Team something. You're always going to pick a side. Because, I mean... Most of the time, some someone's cooler than the other person, and then you have to separate. You have to like half your stuff gets t- one person gets half the stuff, one person gets the other half, and then you split up your friends. And then if you're the one who doesn't bring a lot to the table, you don't bring a lot to the friendship or the relationship. You you can separate your friends. But then you can't hang out with both, which is weird, because if they're both cool and they get divorced and you're like, oh, God, like, oh, you hung out with Chris, like, ugh, and then he gets mad that you hung out with her, and it's just like, dude, like, what are you doing? What is, why are you getting mad? I mean, we, were, we started off, we're both friends, and now we're, you know... It's over. You guys are over. It doesn't mean we can't all be friends. Well, I mean, I can't be friends with her and you. It's just a weird thing. Like, I'm not your child. Like, 
I don't get to see, you know, daddy on the weekends. I could hang out with daddy whenever I want. Calling my friends daddy. That's weird. Okay, sorry, it came out. It happens. But, um, you know, I don't, I just don't understand. Then again, like, I mean, people go crazy after divorces. Like, women, I mean, women have those phases where it's like, and guys have, well, guys are always that way. We're gonna fuck anything. I so one girl was like, "Dude, you're always horny." I'm like, "Hell yeah!" You don't know what it's like to be a guy. Being a guy is being full, driving down the road, and all you see is fast food places, and like the person next to you, which is your horniness, is like, "Stop there!" You remember you had that burger once? Mm, that chicken looks good. That looks, good. and you're like, "Hmm, I did eat." And I do have a full food in the back, but yeah, I could probably get one or two things. Yeah, a hundred percent. That's what it's like. Constant. Mm, I have to satisfy myself, and that's just what it's like to be a man. Like women just don't get that. I'm sorry. Like women are horny too. Let's not let's not lie. But it's not it's not in the society we live in for women to allow themselves to be there. Like women who just have sex whenever they want. Bravo, you're not a whore, you're a a sexual being, we're all sexual beings, and we judge women way harsher than we judge men, which is bullshit, because women are just as horny as men, I mean, women love, I mean, dude, sex is great, that's, I mean, 100% great, well, mm, not 100% great, Um, the ending's good, the beginning and middle part sometimes are awkward, but, you know, that ending... Nine out of ten times, fantastic. It's like an M line, M I. Ooh, why I can't say his name. M Night Shyamalan movie. Beginning, eh, middle, eh. But you know that ending. Mm-mm, gonna be weird, but good. You know. So if I move and I hit my back, oh, don't mind me. Um, I just have to switch every once in a while. But uh, yeah, dude, sex is. Like, that's, like, weird. Who, like, the first person, first people to have sex, it's just like, huh, this is a long object, and you have a hole in your body. Hmm. I wonder if I go, oh, ooh, holy shit, that feels good. If, it feels great for me. Does it feel good for, yes, it feels, ooh, it feels great for me, too. That's my woman voice. It's pretty good. I could never be a woman. I could never be a woman. I'm lazy. In the morning, I shower. You know, I, like, shampoo my hair, like, four times a week. Sometimes I just skip it. Sometimes I skip a shower. I know, it's gross, but, you know, sometimes I like that extra 15 minutes of sleep. And, uh, women, you have to put so much effort. Holy shit. Like, I gotta put my makeup on. I gotta do my hair. Like... Oh, I wake up like an hour and 45 minutes before I have to go to work. Fuck that. Good lord. No, thank you. Like, you have to put so much effort into it. And why? I mean, why? I mean, to look, you know, like you don't have makeup on. Who cares? We're all flawed. Like, you have a pimple. I don't care. Who cares? Who cares? No one's looking at your face. I mean, unless you don't have titties. I mean, then you probably have to work on your face. But, I mean... It's a lot of work to be a woman. And then, like, you know, props to the these, uh, I don't want to call them dudes, these people that um, are born men and want to be women. Bravo. Like, you put that effort in, and then you're like, you see, I see them on Tinder, and I'll, like, be drunk, and I'll, like, swipe right, and then I'll be like, the next day we'll match, and I'll be like, wait a minute, huh. And, like, look at the pictures, look at the pictures. And then, like, some of them, most of them will post, like, you know, here, here's me as my original self. And I'm like, oh, wow, good, good for you. Did not, you look totally different. Okay, I'm not into it, but bravo, lady, you, you nailed it. You're looking good. Now, take a drink, because I'm pretty sure I get canceled. Sorry, community, sorry, community, I don't know what to call them. Because we used to call them trannies, and I know that's offensive, right? So, um, 
cis people no, that's not it i i don't know what to call people like i want to call people what they want to be called but then again i don't know what they want to be called and you can't call them like guys you can't you know they're not guys anymore you call them females sure some of them don't like that either i don't i don't get it so if i ever say anything to them or you know i just don't understand it like white people don't understand things i'm sorry i'm a white man I was born a straight white man, um, and I I don't want to hurt people's feelings. I just want people. I want people to be happy. Um, but they think they get mad at you when you don't want to have sex with them, which is weird. I'm like, okay, I understand you're into dudes, but I'm not. And okay, so you're gonna get really drunk right now because I'm saying a lot of offensive things. I feel like, but I don't want to have sex with dudes, and I feel like that should be respected. Because they're like, oh, well, I'm not really a dude. I'm like, if you have a penis, you're a dude. I get it. And then, not to be offensive, but you have the surgery, and you you have a you have a you have a pussy now. I I also don't want to have sex with that. I mean, you're you're a wonderful human being, and I hope nothing but happiness and love. But I don't want to have I don't want to have sex with your you know Franken if your Franken pussy. I, I just can't. Because then it's like. It's not that long. I may, I mean, probably make your dick feel like it's huge, but I just, I, I just, I can't do it. And maybe that's me being insensitive, but it's just me. I'm that's who I am, and I, I love you for who you are. You need to love me. I'm, a, I'm a little, maybe a little intolerant, but I just don't. It's just not my bag, baby. It's just not my bag. It's just who I am. I'm into women who are women from the beginning. And now I hope I didn't make you black out because you take a shot every time I cancel myself. We'll go somewhere else. Something else. Let's talk about something else. Moving along. Thought about it yesterday. What happened to good sitcom theme songs? Like the 80s and 90s had great sitcom songs. Um, different strokes it takes different strokes. Five seconds. You can sing five seconds of the song before they have to. You technically get sued. But the weirdest one to me is Charles in Charge. Charles in Charge. If you don't know, maybe YouTube one episode. It is about a man in his thirties, I believe, who lives with a family in the basement. And Charles is in charge, correct? That's the name of the song, the show. The theme song is Charles is in charge of our days and our nights. Okay, now first off, Charles is an actual employee of yours. So thus, Charles is not in charge. Um, he is a supervisor who has a boss. He is not in charge of, especially of your nights. The nights the children should be uh, sleeping. And... Um, Nowhere near Charles. Charles is a little bit of a creep looker. He's a little bit of, you know, you see him around your neighborhood in the want to have you seen this man posters. Um, so, no, Charles is not in charge of your nights. But you have a, a dude living in your basement. Why is he living in your basement? Why doesn't he have his own place? And he comes in appropriate times to feed the children, make sure they're ready for school, go away. But he was also like, Charles was like a semi-slave, to be honest, because the more I think about it, Charles was a nanny, Charles cleaned, he cooked, and what was Charles being paid? I mean, he was being paid, so thus not a slave, but he had a lot of hats, he was wearing a lot, he was doing a lot of jobs around this home, and, uh, you know, uh, I would keep him away from my 16-year-old daughter, because I'm pretty sure it just got bail fucked the one in real life, I don't know why I'm whispering, but... Yeah, Scott Bayo fucked that daughter. Sorry, YouTube, it's explicit now. But yeah, he had he banged her, for sure. And uh, Charles gives that vibe of, like, you know, if there's grass on the field, play ball. That's something he would say. I mean, if that's the vibe I got, Scott Bayo, even though hometown boy of me, me and him come from the same neighborhood, seems like a nice man, he's a Republican but he's still nice. So, I mean, I don't want Char I don't want Scott Bayo. I almost said Charles. Weird. Scott Bayo to be mad at me, but he gives them vibes off. The vibes I get, my 16-year-old daughter, 
don't 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 go to talk to uh, old Scotty. Scotty's uh, wave to him, be polite, and then just keep it moving. No 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 long no long conversations. Like, ugh. like I had um, I don't want to say names, but I had um, a family member. Um, I was like doing something around my house, and he was helping. And these, like, girls pass by, and they wave and smile at me. I wave and smile, because that's a polite thing to do. And he goes, oh, well, you should go talk to them. And I was like, they're, like, 15, 16. And I'm, like, 19, 20. I'm like, no, 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 no. Age is only a number, which is a weird thing to say. But um, it is definitely a pedophile thing to say. But 18 plus. Even 18 plus has a limit. Like 18 to plus, uh, you have to be 18, I would say like 22 to 26. That's fine. But the older you get, the more you have to move your numbers up. Because you can't be like 70 banging like an 18 year old. No. No. No, 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 you can't, you have to know that shit, you got money, hell yeah, do whatever you want, I mean, she wants to be with you for your money, but she's there being, you know, 100%, but you can't be no 30-year-old hanging out with 16-year-olds, I'm like, good lord, no, 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 leave young pussy alone, let that, let that tree grow, let that, you have, like, so if you're like 40, and she's like 27, 28, Okay, I mean, whatever. I mean, she's young. I mean, men, we mature super late. I mean, a 40-year-old probably has his shit together. Um, Probably, like, a 40-year-old man has the same, uh, you know, setup as a woman in her late 20s who probably has all her career figured out. Um, All her shit's all figured out. We probably, men probably take till they're 40 to figure everything out. I don't have anything figured out, and I'm 33, so I got a lot of shit to get to. Um, but, you know, I mean, we, like, as long as it's age appropriate, I don't give a shit. Actually, like, if, as long as she's cool, and you're cool, and she's of age, and, uh, a willing participant, I mean, shit, whatever. Float your boat. I can't do it, personally. I mean, my thing about it is, I can't date a girl unless she knows the original Jurassic Park because I was on a date one time and I go uh, it's like what, what's your favorite movie she's like oh Ju- I love Jurassic Park I was like oh hell yeah oh clever girl and then she's just like what I was like you know clever girl and she's like no uh huh I like Chris Pratt I was like no 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 what Chris- Jurassic Park with Chris Pratt's your favorite movie first off ugh it's a good movie but I would never say it's my favorite movie I would be like, no, no, no. I, there's a lot of good movies out there, and I mean, no offense. I love love me some Chris Pratt, but no. And she's like, oh, what's what's your favorite movie? Um, True Romance is my favorite movie. And she's like, what's that? I was like, it's a Quentin Tarantino written movie, and um, it, I think Wrigley Scott or one of the Scots directed it. Super good movie. It's like a violent, violent love story. And, you know, it has, like, a scene where James Gandolfini, R.I.P., R.I.P. legend, um, take a sip every time I mention a dead person, too. You know what? That'll be fun. I'm really going to get you drunk. But, uh, yeah, so it's a love, lovely story of a man who falls in love with a, a prostitute and tries to save the prostitute, and they go on the run with uh, some money they stole. A lot of good people are in it. Gary Oldman, Christian Slater, who has a weird, good and bad Christian Slater, but it's a good Christian Slater. Patricia Arquette, oh, great, one of the best Arquettes. Um, James Gandolfini, Brad Pitt makes his pit stop. <laughs> yeah. And uh, a lot of people are in it, and it's a good movie. Good Lord. It's a good movie. I rec- highly recommend it. That has been Steve's movie pick of the week. I'm just going to start doing bits that have no ending. But, yeah, that's a great movie. Well, it's a good movie, but it's also really fucked up. 
explicit. Sorry, YouTube. I'm sorry, YouTube. Um, was I saying? Oh yeah. So <laughs> I always go on tangents. If you listen to this podcast, whisper into my ear, Zanzibar, and I owe you something. I don't know what it's gonna be, and it's not gonna be sexual. Hundred percent not gonna be sexual. But I owe you something. I'll give you a hug. Maybe a t-shirt. I'm going to make a t-shirt. Um, I'm going to... I owe you something. Because, honestly, this makes... Me, I'm, I love this. 100%. I love telling stories. Hopefully making people laugh. Maybe think a little bit. Um, but... My, 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 this is how my brain is. This is like... You and me are having a conversation with like your friend Steve is this is literally like being friends with me, except I don't insult you. I insult all my friends, but in a loving way, and I try to be loving with it because I do love all my friends, but I'm going to insult you. I'm going to like give you a hard time. It's just how I show love. I'm a broken human being. It's how I show love. And plus I have anxiety. So I'm like. Am I friends with this person? Because, I mean, I know people for years, and I'm like, acquaintances. But, um, like, even my best friend in the world, if he showed up at my house, I'd be super mad. I can't have people just randomly showing up, because I don't like randomly showing showing up at places. Like, oh, well, you know, you can come. I have, like, a uh, friend that moved into my neighborhood. Oh, you, you can come over and hang out anytime. I love you both. I love you and your boyfriend, but... No, never just showing up at people's places. You have to invite me like five to ten times before I feel comfortable coming over. Because I have anxiety, but I also go, I don't know if people actually want me to come over or they're just trying to be nice. Because we, we all just like, again, we're, we all lie. We all lie to make people feel better. 100%. So, so I'm I'm a little I'm a little messed up. I'm a, I'm a I'm a dude who has a lot of issues. So I think that's the whole you know thing. Because people are like, oh well, I love to talk. I love to talk in certain situations. Because I used to be a shy kid, like a hundred percent. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I think I think the best thing that ever happened to me was I moved from New York to New Jersey. And then I was forced to become, well, not forced, but I, I, I took that as an opportunity to um, change characters. I I was a, a mid-card baby face in New York, and then I became a main eventer when I moved to New Jersey. And that's a lot of wrestling talk. I love wrestling. Love pro wrestling, by the way. But I decided that I'm going to just become a new person. I'm going to be who I am, which I, I always was. I was always like, I'm kind of funny. I'm a chubby kid, but I'm very funny-ish, I guess. But So I used that as a, a jumping stone to, uh, you know, be funny. And, you know, and I became popular, which was like shocking. I was like, oh, what is going on here? All my jokes are landing. Everyone's laughing. They're like, oh, this is Steve, the new guy. He's fuck. He's hilarious. Sorry, explicit YouTube. Sorry, I clear my throat. My throat's killing me. But um, yeah, I just used it as an opportunity to uh, you know, kill it. And I think that's just that's just who I am now. It's just a dude who I always like want to make people laugh. And this is why this I do this podcast. One, I like to uh, be creative. Loved, I would love to do stand-up comedy, but I can't. It's the standing. I don't want to just stand in front of people. Like this, I just record this in my bed or on my couch, put it on the universe, uh, and I hope people listen. If they don't listen, they don't listen. Whatever. The aliens will find this one day, and they'll be like, oh, this semi-funny white man. Hmm. Pe- more people should have listened. And um, that's it. That's all it is. So we're going to do the toast of the week. Call We'll call this one. Um, let's drink to um, the trans community, if that's what I can call them. Let's have a drink to them. You know what? You're beautiful people. I wish you nothing but love. We're going to have a drink to you this week. Drink. Uh, we'll drink to you and you alone. I'm, uh, I'm happy you're happy. 
And this is going to be your friend Steve signing off. Love you. Peace, love, and always. And always. And always. And always. Fuck Hitler.